there guys, my name is Casey on Longster Ball, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to the first ever poll reaction. Now, if you are not familiar with the rest of the logistics of this channel, then you will know that we have a community post section. And this is for this is when we first reached 1,000 subscribers. So we're getting close to two now, which is unbelievable. But when we first reached 1,000, we got this community post edition where we I could post stuff about you know upload schedules and put polls on there and put images on there. You guys could comment down below. Pretty much what big channels do now, which is very very cool. And um, basically, I put the poll on there a few days ago about Thought Park's next roller coaster removal, and you guys answered um, in the hundreds, pretty much. And We've got the official results. Now, these were screenshotted around around the afternoon today, around about 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. So, you know, that's when the official results were recorded. Uh, I will probably do a more specific deadline than just the date of the deadline uh, for the second poll and onwards. Uh, but for this first one, I wanted to test it out for a few days, see what, how people would respond. And some very interesting things came up. We also had some additional comments as well. So I advise you guys, next time we put a poll up there, which will be after this video goes up uh, on the Saturday, um, I would recommend you guys keep commenting down below that community post where the poll is and comment your own thoughts about it. Because I don't just want poll answers. I want your comments as well, because then it gives me a lot of stuff to react to. And of course, I like interacting with what you guys do and say and things like that, because it's just as much your channel as it is my channel. So... Um, but we're going to look at the poll results first of all, and then we're going to look at uh, a couple of your comments because I'm going to look at all the comments, but there's only a couple, like two or three, that we're in for the for this one. Uh, and any that's gone on, uh, any any comments on this poll that's been added to the comment section of that poll post since this video was recorded, because it's been pre-recorded the day before uh, in the evening. Um, I will add your comment on at the start of the next video we do on this and uh, I'm thinking about doing a poll reaction Every week like once every week once every two weeks. So it'd be a nice, you know relaxing weekend upload So, you know, it'd be nice to, to do one every week or one every two weeks um, So I might leave the second poll on there for another week or so and then get more of a bigger response to it uh, but for now, let's have a look at the poll results. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the post so you never miss another YouTube video. Make sure you keep liking, subscribing. Make sure you keep sharing the channel with everyone around you. Um, obviously, social distancing, of course, you can just message them uh, the channel link. And uh, for now, guys, let's talk about the poll reactions before we look into your comments. So from the people that voted, saw the ride, got a 10% vote. Colossus got 8%, Stealth got 6%, Flying Fish got 17%, and Walking Dead the Ride dominated the poll with 59% of the votes. So, of course, the question for the poll was, what is Thought Park's next roller coaster removal? And like I said there, Walking Dead the Ride dominating the posts. About 59%, that's a big domination of votes for Walking Dead the Ride. Now we've got a couple of comments that I want to share with you guys. So the first comment comes from Mr. Cola Roaster, a dedicated subscriber to this channel. So thank you very much for your comment. Uh, and he states as follows. Uh, he states below, remove flying fish in brackets RIP. Ideas for new coasters, an RMC or GCI, a Matt Launch Coaster or Extreme Spinner, a Hyper Coaster. So that one is a really interesting idea, Mr. Cola Roaster. Um... First of all, remove flying fish. That's a very interesting one, so I'm guessing you voted for that. Um, that's interesting, because obviously it's the only kind of like true kids family coaster in the park. So, you know, would you replace it with a, a family coaster, or would you put a family coaster somewhere else in the park? And then maybe that's what gets filled by a, a flat ride of some sort. Uh, and the coaster idea is RMC or GCI, Mac Extreme or Launch, or an, a Hyper. A Hyper, pretty much. So, um... I like all three suggestions. I think that a Hyper would be great, an RMC or a GCI would be wonderful, especially a GCI. Look what Alton Towers did with Wickerman and the theming for that. You imagine what Thought could do with an outstretched layout. That would be pretty good. And we also had the Mac launch or Extreme Spinner options. So let's have a look then first at the RMC or GCI. So let's start off with RMC. 
So RMC, of course, they've done many different coasters within the parks. Um, you know, I think RMC have done loads of great projects. I mean, I couldn't even name all of them because I think all the projects they've done have been amazing. Lightning Rod's had its issues and there's a couple that have not been as long or as fast or maybe as thrilling as other ones. But I definitely think that it's um, still good rides to have. Uh, GCI, they've done some incredible projects. Wickerman, of course, springs, springs to mind very, very closely. Uh, Invader for the more family market. So GCI wouldn't be a bad addition either. Now, the Matt Launch Coaster, again, very good addition indeed. You look at, obviously, Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is a big example. Helix at Leesburg is a good European example. Um, so there's a lot of great, you know, variations and installations of the Matt Launch Coaster. The Extreme Spinner, that will be brilliant. The UK's only one and only Thought Park would probably do an Extreme Spinning Coaster. Unless they're going to upgrade Sp Sonic Spin, uh, well, Spinball Wizard Alton Towers. So, and that won't be likely. That will be either get relocated or removed at some point. So... I think that an extreme spinner would most likely go to Thorpe Park. And then finally a hyper coaster. And I think it, it doesn't really matter what manufacturer you'd pick for that particular type of roller coaster. I think that any kind of hyper would be great. A B&M, an Intamin like Hyperion, uh, a Mac one like the DC Rebels hyper coaster over in Australia. I think all of them would be very great hyper coaster additions. I think all of them would bring something different and a bit of a variation to the table for the hyper coaster design. So very exciting there. So, let's move into our next comment. Now, this next comment, uh, in fact, comes from uh, Finn Tetley. So, massive shout out to you. He said, remove the walking dead the ride. The flying fish isn't great, but it's the only family coaster in the park. And he also said that it fits um, into the, the tiny footprint. Because uh, obviously, you guys know that flying fish... Uh, is in a very small. It's, it's in a, It's the, probably the smallest footprint out of all of the roller coasters that they've got in the park. Um, he also went on to say, "The Walking Dead, the ride takes up quite a large space and could be replaced with something much better." So, first of all, thank you very, very much for your comments, uh, Finn Tetley. I'm sorry on the screen it says "Read more" when it after it says "Could be." Uh, <laughs> Don't know why I wasn't doing it, but you guys heard the rest of it uh, as it continued. But, um, speaking about that comment, Flying Fish's footprint again, yeah. Um, and removing Walking Dead the ride leaves a decent footprint. You are right, Finn. And um, I definitely think that, you know, this is um, a crucial site. I think that's a crucial site for development. And you look at the things around the Walking Dead the ride as well. Storm Surge around there. Um, obviously, Darren Brown's Ghost Train. Darren Brown's Ghost Train is unreliable, and in today's COVID climate, they're not keeping that open at the minute. Storm Surge is a water ride, but it was closed during the, the start of the restart during the COVID period. And I think it's, it's been open now. Um, I don't know for sure. I think it's either been open or closed. I've not heard much about Storm Surge. But both of them, coincidentally, ironically, are rides that I think should leave the park. I think Darren Brown's Ghost Train is not going to get any better. Uh, I think it was only a few year thing. Yes, it might be a waste of money, but I think that, you know, just just ease the pain and get rid of it and then work in the planning stages once the finances are back in order and produce a family dart ride somewhere else in the park that's going to be a decent quality dart ride. Um, like, look at what Alton Towers are doing with the Will of David Williams and the Gangster Granny ride. That looks like a world class family dart ride. Um. Even if it was a Thought Park dungeon, you know, not many people would be a fan of it, but look at the Alton Towers dungeon, look what a great job they did with that building, because I think that was like a brand new rejuvenated piece of life heading into that building. If they put a Thought Park dungeon somewhere where it made sense, then that wouldn't be a bad addition as well. Um, I think if you weren't going to take out Darren Brown, if you are going to take out Storm Surge and Walking Dead, but not Darren Brown, then maybe you uh, replace Darren Brown with the, the Thought Park dungeon. Because uh, it's a decent sized building for it. Um, but I think if you're going to replace all three. Then you've got a decent coaster site around there. So, uh, and coincidentally when you're taking out uh, the Walking Dead the Ride. You're also taking out. Um, I mean if you take out. I, I, I think there's some complications taking out Slammer. I think even though we'd like to see it removed. Because it's a bit of an eyesore right now. I think there's a bit of a, a partnership deal with Rush. And I think they have to remove both to get rid of the Slammer. Um, so I think with Slammer, I think the best thing to do probably is to maybe update Rush's ride system, make it a bit more modern, a more modern version of the of the the Screaming Swing. 
Um, and maybe that would close the partnership deal, which means remove Slammer. So you're not exactly taking out Rush, you're just replacing it with a, a more updated ride system. So it'd be perfect timing. And you'd be taking out Slammer in the process. So you take that out, as well as taking out... Obviously, you can't take out the queue line for walking... The old queue line for Walking Dead Living Nightmare, because, of course, Living Nightmare is where the brand new Black Mirror Labyrinth's going. So you can't exactly take out Black Mirror Labyrinth, because it's a new attraction. So you'd only be taking out Slammer, you'd be taking out uh, Storm Surge, Walking Dead the Ride, and um, that was it. Uh, unless you wanted to include Darabound's Ghost Train. And that is a decent site for a coaster. That is a very decent site. So, um, but I think the most likely scenario here is that Storm Surge will stay for a bit. Walking Dead the Ride might stay. It might get rethemed back to X. But I think if it was going to get removed, I think it will get removed probably in the next few years or so. Uh, or rethemed in some way. Slammer will stay unless Rush goes or gets updated to it. That means it breaks the partnership, so Slammer will go then. Black Mirror Labyrinth is obviously new, so that won't go anywhere for a long period of time. Um, and it looks very good from what I've heard. So, well, from what I've heard from the statement on when they announced the ride, and I think what they could do with it from the concept, I think it could be very good. Um, so, maybe not a coast development, but I think Walking Dead the Ride is on its way out. I think it is going to be on the chopping blocks uh, very, very soon. And I hope we do see an investment in Thought Park Resort coaster wise, hopefully in the next few years. Uh, but it should be interesting. So, uh, thank you very much for your comment, Finn. Um, very nice to debate all of that. Final comment then, um, that was on the, well, below the poll. Uh, this comes from the Derbyshire Bangers. And this one is all about um, Saw the Ride. Because they said, remove Saw the Ride as it doesn't have anything particularly noteworthy about it anymore, at least. And replace it with a GCI wooden coaster as that would fill out the coaster lineup nicely. So first of all, thank you very much to uh, Derbyshire Bangers for your comment. Uh, very nice name there. Um, saw the Ride, interesting debate. So of course, Saw the Ride, Gerstler Eurofighter, 2009, 100 foot high, 100 degree drop, theme to the Saw films. Uh, very nice theming inside, but I've always felt it had that roughness and it got worse and worse and worse uh, every time you ride it. And... You know, I definitely think Saw the Rider has, has served its time. I think that Saw the Rider has served its time. And I think they've renewed the licensing for the Saw franchise. So I don't think it's going anywhere for another couple of years at least. Uh, if they were going to do something major to it, I think the major thing would be to retheme it. Because I think they renewed the Saw licensing partnership. Because uh, I think it ran out last season or this season. And they renewed it, I think, for a couple of years. So I think, I think it'll be around the 2023 mark we see something major happen with Saw. Um, but looking at it from a technical standpoint, I would rather see Saw the Ride go because I think it served its purpose. It's not the most thrilling coaster in the park. I think it doesn't really do anything noteworthy. Um, I mean, it broke the steepness record around the world, you know, for a certain period of time and then it got overtaken, then overtaken again. So I think that, you know... It, it, it served its purpose, it's done what it set out to do, it thrilled for some kind of generation, and I think it's now at a point where enough's enough, and I think the Saw the Ride does need to go. I think it shouldn't get, be demolished, I think it should be modified for comfier trains, a comfortable ride experience, and move to a different part, somewhere like Lightwater Valley would benefit from something like this if you retheme it into something more bright, less dark, um, and bring it to Lightwater Valley, that would be a perfect fit for them and their market. I think that um, in terms of a replacement, the GCI, again, talk about the GCI, very good coaster addition uh, for the park, and you've got to look at that and say, well, hang on a minute, they got Saw the Ride, then they could do, they could actually connect, uh, uh, well, not fully connect, so obviously one queue line goes off that way and one queue line goes off that way, uh, but what they could do is... Um, maybe connect or move the entrance to the queue line for the new coaster upwards a bit so you can maybe include it in the Saw Alive queue line area. Now, obviously, the Saw Alive building on the dock, on the on the boat, can't be used because that barge is sinking. So you can't put any more weight on it, otherwise it's going to collapse. So you could connect the queue lines together and the Saw Alive queue becomes like an extended queue line, if you know what I mean. Uh, so that area becomes an extended queue line, and then you sort of operate it back into the main Saw the Ride queue line. So the station is around the Saw the Ride end, and then you take out all the Logger's Leap uh, track at the back, 
and then you operate the coaster in that area. You can't use the Logger's Leap Station and queue line because that's for Creek Freak Massacre. But if you include Saw the Ride and that Saw Island area in the Old Town section, then you've got a very, very interesting coaster and you've got a very nice theme to go with it with the Old Town. You can build on the Creek Freak Massacre storyline as a coaster. I think you could do some really cool stuff with that. And I think this that's definitely an in, you know an imminent project. I think that's very much could be off the ground in the future. Um, so very nice comment. Thank you very much, Derbyshire Bangers. And that's it. That's the first poll reaction of the channel. So uh, comment down below if you like this video. And of course, obviously by now you'll have seen um, a notification pop up, which means that a second poll has gone up. So you can go and vote for that right now. Uh, and that will be answered uh, or reacted to, should we say, in about a week's time. I'm going to give it a week. I'm going to give it till uh, next Saturday to uh, to uh, react to that one. So your deadline is uh, 23:59 p.m. on the um, on the Friday. Uh, so just before we hit midnight, going into the Saturday on that week, and uh, that'll be the deadline probably for all of the polls in the next weeks. Uh, so that's your deadline. I'll put it out on the poll post as well, and uh, you guys can go and answer that and be involved. If you want to, co if you want to comment something extra with your vote, comment it down below, and uh, you get a shout out with it, like you've seen today. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, I am Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.